Hi viewers, this video explains the stack implementation by using the linked list. So here, uh, since we are using the linked list for implementing the stack, we need to define the structure of the node. Here I am using the single linked list, so uh, I am defining the uh, node with two fields. One is the data field and the next field, right? So data field is defined and node is also uh, having the next as a variable which is representing the another node, right? Then we are assigning the values into the uh, node. The whenever we are creating the node, always we will create with the record data stored into the field, then which is having the null value then we are making initially the list is empty that means stack is empty stack is empty that is indicated by using the null value to the top variable because in stack uh, one of the important thing is top variable the top variable is always accessing the top of the element in the stack top of the element in the stack so initially top is indicating null so that means the stack is empty now we will see push operation to insert the data into the stack by using linked list so here we are calling the push method from the public static void main by passing the value data once you are passing the uh, value data suppose i am passing 10 right so but with the 10 i am creating the new node so new node is created by using the class as i mentioned earlier this class so now we are creating the new node we are creating the new node with value 10 the next field will be null right now as of now we are checking so here you you have to check our top is null or not if top equal to if top equal to null then the stack is empty system dot out dot print ln so uh, stack is empty right you can mention here stack is empty right so otherwise this new node that variable of this new node is this one so now yes of now top is representing top is representing null okay so this is the value now so that means there is no element available in the stack so now new node dot next okay so new node dot next will be the top okay top is assigned to new node dot next so that means we will assign we will assign right new node 10 so it will be uh, the top will be assigned to the new node dot next so this will be assigned the top okay this will be assigned the top so top equal to now okay top equal to now right new node top equal to now new node so which is having the null value top equal to top equal to new node so now the newly pushed node is referenced by the top suppose again one more time i am calling the uh, push operation with node uh, data value 20 Again, we are checking top equal to null or not. No, it is not null, which is having the node, which is having the node, right? So we have created the node with value uh, 20, with value 20. So this is as of now null. Then now top is assigned to new node dot next. Top is assigned to new node dot next, which is the new node. This is the new node 20 is the new node so new node dot next is the top so top memory location for example it is 100 new node may be 101 so 100 new top is now 100 so 100 is assigned to new node dot next so 100 is assigned to new node dot next so this is linked with previous node okay then the top is updated by using the new node so new node will become the top so this is updated this will become the top now this will become the top now so this is the way to push the data into the stack by using the linked list so here just i have given for your representation push the six 
then uh, this will become the top then i am pushing the next data is one so one is created here the value is here uh, null then i am making the link right so this is the new node new node dot next will be top so then the this new node will become top okay so now top is changed again pushing seven seven is the new node so now the new node is linked with the new node dot next will be the top new node dot next will be the top now top equal to new node top equal to new node so like that push eight so here eight is linked so that means new node dot new node dot next will be the top then top equal to new node right so then with this i have concluded the push operation in the stack thanks for watching